right, catching up on the G1 reissue since they happen to have him at my Walmart and he was the only one I didn't already have. I picked up out back today. He's a repaint of remold of Braun. Um, and one of the few mini bots that I recall that actually has extra pieces because this cannon, well, you can leave it on in robot mode, does come off and then he does not have any way that I'm aware of to hold it. So he does have a little, kind of looks like a small Megatron arm rifle, fusion cannon. Plugs into the top of his vehicle mode. And then you just pop his legs around and slide him up. Leg around, slide it up. Pop his arms out here. You might want to leave that not quite. But flip his panels up. And then pop this out. See, he's got a different face than Braun. He's actually got a face and not just the weird man-at-arms helmet looking thing. Bring that down, kind of pull his silver arm pieces out so they flop out. You can angle those back however you want. The panels um, up here. He's got a little rub symbol. That is red and not uh, multicolored like a lot of the old ones. It, the Autobots, are there any, I don't think there are any Decepticon minibots, so they're all red. Although Starscream's was purple, I believe, so. And, uh, hey, get him out a little bit further here. Um, I guess you don't really want to put those down. Anyway, you can can collapse his legs if you want, although it makes him even stubbier. So there's Outback. He's a brown robot. <laughs> and again, there's no real place that I found, and the instructions don't say anything about it, to plug this in. So I guess you can just leave this plugged into the back of his robot mode. I think that's just more of something they added to make him different from Braun. But yeah, there's Outback.